electric Related to mobile vehicles Mobility enthusiast Davis one of a kind One country Ever since I started documenting mobility innovation, I have come across many mind-blowing and incredible innovation. There has been many learners, people creating technologies to solve daily life mobility challenges. Jobs are being created out of these inventions, making the world a better place to live in. What I know for sure is in every generation, there is a chosen one who defies all odds to make things happen. Um, I'm actually a dropout, but it, after I, when I dropped out, I never stopped achieving my dreams. I struggled and I was able to manage to get where I am right now. Wheelchair users in Kenya got a power boost. From I believe even out, outside there. An inventor in Kenya is changing lives. It this a young man in Thika, Kiambu County has manufactured an electric wheelchair. Hi guys, that is your mobility enthusiast, Dave Dill. And it is my responsibility to bring mobility innovations from every corner of the world closer to you. I am in Gitarai, a suburb of Nairobi, and I found a gentleman who is making an impact in this world. He's solving one of the world's biggest problems. That is the man I am talking about. The man behind me is doing the unthinkable here in Kenya and Africa as a whole. So I am going to talk to him and you will find out what he's doing. Guys, check out this place. This place looks chaotic, but after all, it's not chaotic because lives are being changed for the better over here. So guys, like I told you, this gentleman seated right beside me is making an impact in the society. He's solving one of the world's biggest challenges or problems. Hello. Hi. What is your name? My name is Lincoln Romai. Lincoln. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, so Lincoln, how did this start? Um, I started quite some time back and the journey has been tough yeah. yes but we are still surviving and struggling because you know we are dealing with a very sensitive section of people living with disabilities yeah. and they require very very good care yeah. yes. That is true. yes okay so let me ask you this question why wheelchairs i mean there are other vehicles you could have built but why wheelchairs I love people living with disabilities and I saw there was need for me to innovate in that area because they were being neglected by the society. Mm. Yes. Oh, okay. Good. So what I want to find out now is, did you attend any school or university who taught you this electronics or mechanical thing that you are doing? Um, I'm actually a dropout. Oh. Yes. And you are able to build all this? Yes, but... It, after I, when I dropped out, I never stopped yeah. achieving my dreams. I struggled and I was able to manage to get where I am right now by trying to access what I, never, I, didn't, I couldn't access in schools online. Yeah. Yes. So you learned everything online? Yes. So before you build a wheelchair, do you draw it before you do that? No. I don't. I okay. Yes, I draw it, but in a very different way. How do you do it? In my I'm mind. Interested. In your mind. Yes. <laughs> so well, so I, tell us how you do so it. I, after after an idea strikes, okay, I'm a problem solver. Let me start with that. Okay. So after I, I see the problem I want to solve, mm. I first figure out ways to to a solution to come up with the a sol I, I figure out a solution. Yeah. And after the solution, I design inside my mind okay and I, then i i'll because if, if everything i build you must have measurements yeah then i'll spit out the measurements and i'll just build something out of the ideas i have okay I, actually i've never drawn apart from the intellectual property design that i drew 
I've never drawn anything that I design. Okay. I, I actually do the drawings after I, des I, I build the product. You the do prototype. the drawings after you have built it? Eh? The, the working prototype. Wow. So um, how are you able to build this? Do you import the materials outside the country or you manufacture them there yourself? Funny enough, 90% of what I build is built using recycled materials. 90%? And I only build electric. Yeah. I don't deal with anything. I don't work on with on anything that is using fuel. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I love green energy. You know, by building electric mobility equipment, mm -hmm. by using recycled materials, mm -hmm. it helps clean up the mess that we have in the environment. Yeah, that is very true. Yes. That is very true. And actually, everything here is powered by solar. Oh. Yeah. I know you've not, you know, you've not noticed that. I haven't noticed. Yeah. So did you build a solar system to yourself? I just bought the solar panels. Yeah. The inverters are from junkyards. Junkyards? The charge controller. The only thing that I bought new is the solar panels. The solar panels. Actually, the batteries are also recycled. Recycled, yes. yes. Because I know lithium-ion batteries are very expensive. So yes, I was going to ask you about it. Actually, I've never imported. I don't know how to import a battery. I've never imported any, not a single cell. So, I've been using what we have, the junks we have locally. So where do you get them? I mean, what, in what materials do you get these batteries from? I've, okay, before I used to get them from laptop batteries. Yeah. It was a very, it was a very tedious job. Mm. But now later, I came, I, I partnered with elect, electronic waste recycling companies locally. Yeah. And so now I just received already tested and working batteries. Oh, okay. Yes. Awesome. So, um, after building the wheelchair, okay, and you charge it, how long can it travel? What is the range? It depends. The minimum can do 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers? The minimum. 30 kilometers. Yes. Okay. Awesome. We have ones that we can do even 100, over 100 kilometers. Hmm. So, what is the price range of these wheelchairs um, that you are building? The, the cheapest wheelchair we have goes for 800 USD. And the most expensive is 1,200 USD. 1,200. Yeah, the most expensive wheelchair I've ever built. Okay. Yes. Okay, so how are you able to sell these wheelchairs that you are building? Do the persons with disabilities come in by themselves to buy, or an organizations usually buy for um, these persons? So mainly, you know, I'm dealing with mostly we have a majority of people with disability cannot be able to afford the 800 USD yes, so true. mainly uh, they rely on people to donate to do a contribution and buy a wheelchair for them right. but we have those who can who are lucky enough can be able to afford okay yes. okay so apart from the wheelchairs that you are building here do you manufacture any other uh, vehicle mobility vehicle e-mobility vehicle yes i do build uh, small scooters for businesses, like for selling gas cylinders, supplying gas cylinders, we have clients who are using them to, to supply wholesale items. Like they have a big shop and they're supplying to to the in the estates. In the estates. Yes. Okay, you do all that. Okay. Yes. So, um, what um, advice would you give to the young ones who are walking around complaining? There isn't much job, the government is not helping. I mean, what is encouraging over here is you are self-taught engineer. I will say mechatronic engineer, right? Yeah. So what advice would you give to the young ones outside who walk around, always complain there are, there, there, there aren't jobs and others? What would you say to them? Um, it's very easy. I believe everyone has something they can offer. Yeah. The problem is discovering what you can be able to do. And once you're able to discover what you can do, you just give it time. Don't expect to be given a lot of cash to be able to proceed with the ideas you have. Yeah. Start with the little you have. And I would say God will bless. God will bless. Yes. I also believe in that too. Yes. Okay. So Lincoln, thank you for what you are doing for the society, solving one of the biggest problems in the society. And uh, I know with time it's going to be bigger, you know. Thank you once again. Karibu. Asante sana. Yes, I've seen you've learned Swahili words. Yes, so you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she here? Is, is she coming for servicing or what? Yeah, she's coming for servicing. Uh, like, 
some parts are worn out on her wheelchair. Mm. It's actually it's her son's wheelchair. Yes, son's wheelchair. So we have okay. some worn out parts, and this is the part we are going to replace. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. so meaning she bought you bought it from here? No, uh, she bought it elsewhere. You know, elsewhere. we don't have people that who do repairs on this on electric wheelchairs mm. locally, and those who who sometimes do repairs they don't have the actual spare part that are needed. Like for instance, this part yeah. you cannot get it in a shop. Yeah, I got this from a similar wheelchair. A similar wheelchair. Yeah. Okay. So in my case, I I do buy the junked wheelchair that ones are not working, and I get spare parts from them. From so, so she's benefiting from. Actually, I don't know what we could have done because what she needs, you can't. You cannot buy it in a shop. Ah, uh, you can't get it in the market. Yes. But unless, you are the only one who has it. Unless now we import. Uh, yes, and so. that would have taken so much yeah, time. Yeah, so much time. Yes. And the son also needs it. Yes. Actually, the son is in school. <laughs> the son is in school. Yeah. He left it in. School. He left the son at school with no wheelchair. Uh, so he's waiting for the wheelchair to be fixed. And take you back to the sun. Oh, okay. She's not from here, she's from like I would say like all, about five hundred kilometers from wow. five hundred kilometers from here. But still in Kenya. Yes. And you are the only person that can fix it, so she brought it to you here. She have, she have been doing servicing of the wheelchair. Like I built a proper battery for her. Mm. The batteries that the battery you know originally the wheelchair comes with a lead as a battery. Yeah. We did an upgrade on her battery. Now the wheelchair is using lithium ion batteries, okay. so that's why she's been our customer from there. Oh, okay. And we've been maintaining the wheelchair for her. Awesome. Okay. You know we have very bad roads. Yeah, we have very bad roads. In fact, before I get let go, we have suffered for a very long time. Okay, this wheelchair. My son is 28 years. 28, He's yeah. Very big man. Yeah. I think you are size now. <laughs> I, you knew him. Yeah. So, uh, this, uh, I could um, living with him. Mm. Now pushing him was so hard for me. Yeah. He can't push he, he himself. Is heavy. Yeah. 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 So some friends mm -hmm. contributed to buy this wheelchair. And wow. The wheelchair was bought. Wow. Yes. But the charge was the batteries. Mm. It would, it would not have lasted for six months. They become worn out. Yeah. For those two years, I suffered a lot. Uh, but I met him because we were friends. Mm. Even I don't know him, I met him on Facebook. He directed us to this man. Yeah. He gave us his number. We get this battery. Yeah. It had become of help. Mm. My son had gone to school now. He's in school. Because he can... This, this battery... Helps. Yeah, it lasts a long, the yeah, the range. The, the, the other ones, I think the, the ones we got from the shops, mm. now the, the one it came with, it, it was important. The yeah, original yeah. batteries. It, 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 it would go for, even for a 200 meters and back. Mm. Too so bad. it was all stressed. So when I came here and met this man, and I got his battery, it, 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 it is of help. Yeah. Then the wheelchair started, it is growing out now. So it is wearing out. Yeah, I get it. Without knowing, I don't know what I have done. You have done. <laughs> I understand you. The, the battery was a charge, and yeah. there was a shop to buy, even if it didn't last. Mm -hmm. But now, with these mechanical problems, mm -hmm. I don't know what I have done. Yeah. So, I do appreciate it. We really thank you for the impact <laughs> that you are making here in, in Kenya. So, Lincoln, I, I saw this car parked here when I was entering. Does it belong to you? Yes, this one. Of, this is my car. This it's is your electric, car? Yes, it's an electric one and I have also electric bikes. You have electric bikes too? So you have an electric car and electric bikes too. So meaning you are a green energy advocate? Yes. Wow, awesome. Are you charging it now? Yeah, right now I'm charging it. Wow. So what is the range on a single charge? When you charge this, this how long can it travel? This car is upgraded. It can do 200 kilometers in one charge. 200 kilometers. Yes. And did you say it's upgraded? Yes. Did you do that by yourself? The battery controllers, the motors have changed everything. What was the, what was the initial range? Initial hardly does it batteries, the heavy ones. Yeah. The, old, the heavy and old technology ones. Yeah. But now I've upgraded the batteries, I've upgraded the controller and the motors. Okay. So the car. Wow. Yes. Although I've limited the speed to 80 kilometers per hour, but it has a very it has a very high 
high picking, a high picking power. How long have you been using this electric car? Uh, since 20, 20, January 2021. January 2021. Where is it from? Is it China. from China? China? Oh, okay. So everything about you is electric. electric. Wow. Green energy. Green, yeah. You are making the world a better place though. You know, we are fighting climate change. Awesome. Guys, I hope you found this insightful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. Thank you very much. Anything electric related to mobile vehicles. Mobility enthusiast, Davis one of a kind. One country at a time, one continent at a time. Never been done before. Drive a fight across all shores. Automotive innovation, electric mobility. Davis three steps ahead. No competitor over here. Are you a fan of the vehicle space? Drive a fight leading the race. Stay tuned.